Hello viewers, I welcome you to today's tutorials. My name is Daniel Ogwenyi. Today we want to look at how to make use of a pivot table to summarize your data. This tutorial will be essential for those that have large number of data to summarize or to work on. So I will urge you to take note of these tutorials and also make use of it and um, I want you to subscribe on this YouTube channel and watch other videos and also expect more videos that will enhance your 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 skills okay now as earlier said today we want to look at the pivot table as you can see on the screen you have a data this is a data uh, that shows customer product relationship and uh, the sales made in the first quarter second quarter third quarter and uh, the fourth quarter okay now let me expand this so that you see it okay this data is very very much it's very very much Alice Mutin is a product, Anton is a customer, then this is what happened in the various quarters. So you see various customers that patronize Alice Mutin product. As you continue to scroll down, you see so many of them, it's so numerous that you can't analyze without the use of the pivot table. Now, what do you do first if you want to start a pivot table? You first of all use Ctrl T. Ctrl T helps you to select the active cells or your data. And the essence is when it is being selected, maybe later in future, if you want to impute any other data, it will accommodate it and then reflect also in your pivot table without any stress. Okay, now as you see, after using the control T you see create table where is the data for your table so this is it it ends at uh, F278 that is this F then the row header is 278 which goes down 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 but now if it is not up to this 278 you can now manually indicate it and type 278 okay now the next thing is this checker box is indicating do you want this uh, your my table has headers does this these are the headers product customer first quarter second quarter and so on so you tick yes okay so see what happens it brings down this button drop down button okay which you can use to filter and uh, uh, sort whatever you want to sort okay now having done this you go to this place you title your table maybe you, you, you say um office so you can name the table sorry you can name the table uh, let's just say daniel obey data data okay okay sorry there's no space daniel daniel ogb and why obey data there's no space okay so now this is the name of the table daniel obey so now what do you do you come to this sheet you name it source data you name it source data then you come to this sheet too you can call it product pivot table you can come to this third one and name it customer pivot table the essence is that we want to analyze the product and we want to analyze the customer 
okay so that we'll know we'll have a summary of what has happened okay now what next do you do after that okay you go to your insert okay you come to the pivot you click the pivot you can see select a table okay no this one is okay then you come to this one is okay you use the existing sheet so you don't click okay yet you come to this table you want to analyze that is the product pivot table you click on it then you click okay sorry it's coming So you, 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 this is the table you want to summarize, okay? You click on pivot table, okay? Then uh, you come here, you click on the existing sheet, okay? Then you click on the pivot table, click on any of the cells, it brings out this, then you click OK. Your pivot table is out. So what you do is you come here, you name your pivot table as product because you want to analyze product. You click product, you type product, then you come out. You see it has shown here product. Then you click inside it. It brings out this. So because we want to analyze product, you really click on product. See what happens here. Immediately you click that product. The row label shows every product. Okay. And you see here the product then if you click quarter one see what happens are you see sum of quarter one shows you click quarter two sum of quarter two shows third quarter fourth quarter so all of these shows is a summary of everything that has happened so you look at these values here you see the summary of it all so what happens is that this is the analysis for your product okay so now let's filter what happened in a, a late molten product okay you deselect all you deselect all and you select only alice molten you click ok are you seeing so it means that alice molten in the first quarter this was the sum the revenue generated this was the same revenue generated in the second quarter this was the revenue generated in the third quarter and so on so that is how you get the data for each of the product okay you want to so it will save you from unnecessary stress of a you know going through the whole of this looking for this smoking and this smoking no so now we want to go to customer okay we want to analyze customer so what happens is that you do the same you click on the customer you click on insert you create a pivot table okay so the pivot table for customer here you come to you click on the existing worksheet then you click on customer because that's where you are referring to then you click on any of the cells here it reflects here then you, you click ok then you name this customer okay customer okay customer so then what happens are you saying you choose customer you click here so you select customer this time around first quarter what happened second quarter what happened third quarter what happened fourth quarter that was all so now you let's filter and see what happened so far let's try this customer what happened in the first time okay when you come here you deselect you select only the half key you say okay so what happens in the first quarter this was what half key bought nothing 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 the, the third quarter the last quarter was 900 and so now you can add anything you want you can insert anything you want um, if it is here maybe you want to indicate the currency okay you can use dollars okay you can come to this you click and uh, are you seeing this is showing euro you can click on this it shows dollars so there are many things you can do to it you can also plot graph but it will be in the next video whereby you watch how to plot a graph on pivot thank you for watching i remain daniel bye for now